guess we can see from your answer we're in a very timely moment to talk about constitutional revision with a, a very important election coming up this summer, um, which you referred to, but also a recent aggressive activity by North Korea, especially in May of this year, has spurred much more debate about Article 9. Um, Japan even has announced plans for a missile early warning system. If threats from North Korea continue, do you see Japan shifting further away from Article 9 or even possibly um, adopting nuclear weapons? I think there is virtually no popular support for Japan going nuclear. Also, if you think of what would have to happen for Japan to go nuclear, it would be necessary for a generation of scientists suddenly to change their orientation for uh, the government to reverse itself on a policy it has held over 60 years and for the people to accept that change. I see no possibility, no signs now of any openness to Japan going nuclear. That being said, there is a sense that uh, for all the realization of the various motives that North Korea may have in shooting rockets over Japanese territory and for all the determination of the Japanese people and its government to remain calm in the face of these, there is a concern that the nation be prepared to defend itself if it should ever need to. What surprises me is that there isn't more talk of this kind, especially if you think that Japan now has been in a deep recession for almost 20 years, why, aren't, why do we not hear people saying that the industries of Japan should be turned to the production of military materiel? Why do the Japanese uh, corporate managers not go in a direction that is almost guaranteed to pull them out of a 20-year recession. Certainly, Mitsubishi, for example, Heavy Industries, which produces, I, at the last time I checked this out, perhaps one tank a year for the self-defense force. Why do we not see the Mitsubishis and other um, the shipbuilding industry, for example, try and dig, it, dig themselves out of this recession by going military. They don't want to. They know they could, but they have a commitment, I think, to Japan as a peaceful nation. They don't want to go that direction, is the way I would read that now. Well, thank you very much for a very timely and informative discussion of constitutional revision in Japan. It's been my pleasure. Thank you very much.